A few months back, I reviewed a DVD called The Shooter Series Volume 1, and it focused on director Brett Ratner. Now, to me, the idea of focusing any kind of DVD about directing on Brett Ratner is a pretty horrible idea, as I think he's one of the worst directors working in Hollywood today. It turns out, of course, that it was a pretty cool collection, as it mostly focused on his music videos, his rare short films, student films, and things you really didn't have access to otherwise. And it turns out, when you put this guy behind the camera for only three or four minutes, he's actually a pretty good director. Well, the second release in the Shooter series it focuses on director F. Gary Gray. This is also an interesting choice. I don't dislike F. Gary Gray as a director, but I don't necessarily love him either. I think he's kind of a paint-by-numbers director in that most of his films have been fairly standard kind of Hollywood fare. Nothing that's really set him apart as a, as a director's director. Nothing that's really made him stand out as anything other than somebody who can you know, manage a film, kind of like a good quarterback can manage a football game as opposed to somebody like a Peyton Manning who can really light up a football game. What's interesting about this collection is it focuses mostly on F. Gary Gray's uh, music video work, and that's a lot of it. And, and Brett Ratner's did as well, but F. Gary Gray really worked strongly in the hip-hop world, and it's almost like an MTV's greatest hits rather than a director series. Um, you get about a dozen to 15 music videos, including videos from Outkast, Jay-Z, R. Kelly, Whit Houston, Dr. Dre, TLC, Coolio, Queen Latifah, and Cypress Hill, as well as Ice Cube and Mary J. Blige. The only other things that you really get on the disc besides all those videos are a documentary called Doing the Impossible, the F. Gary Gray story, uh, a behind-the-scenes on his latest film, Law Abiding Citizen, and a number of film trailers, including Law Abiding Citizen, Be Cool, The Italian Job, A Man Apart, The Negotiator, Set It Off, and two trailers for Friday. Finally, there's a little uh, short feature called Giving Back, which is uh, something that's interesting to watch. Now, if you're a fan of F. Gary Gray, I guess this is a pretty fantastic collection. If you're not a fan of his, if you're just a, kind of a, 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 a fan of directors or if you're a student of cinema, I don't know that this set is really going to give you anything all that fantastic other than a bunch of music videos. The documentary is certainly interesting, and of course it's nice to see the behind the scenes on Law Abiding Citizen, which was actually a movie I did enjoy. But watching a bunch of trailers uh, from a director's oeuvre is not exactly the most exciting viewing experience that I can think of. Still, if you're a fan, this is a nice way to get kind of an overview of his early career, um, but I wish it had a little more meat to it like the Brett Ratner uh, disc did, and I can't believe I just said that, but uh, that one included some some student films and things like that, and, and, a, and a portraits uh, that he took in the in the booklet. He, there was portraits from um, Brett Ratner that he took of really famous people, which is interesting to see. So the F. Gary Gray Shooter Series disc is interesting, but it's not quite the slam dunk that the first release in the Shooter Series was. I think this is a great concept for DVDs. I'd like to see them develop it a little bit more and get a little more interesting with the choices of directors that they, they put out. I'm not saying you necessarily need to go with your Spielberg, Scorsese, Coppola, people who have been kind of interviewed to death, but I'd like to see some more interesting directors in future releases.